And you guys just don't seem to get this. I'm not talking about the history of the organization and the way they love the Browns. I think that Dave Gettleman went out and tried to get the best deal possible, and the icing on top of the Sunday, or on top of the cake, or the cherry on the Sunday, was he got to send no. Odell Beckham Jr. to Cleveland, yeah, Ohio. No. Then, it was, then it was poorly then, played. Then, 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 get, that. then, that's, then, then Gettleman is truly a moron, because you sent him to the quarterback that was drafted first overall. But you keep saying that. He's getting I'm a chance to play with city. his best friend. I'm talking about the city, no, Don. It doesn't this matter. is not what he's about. Cleveland, Ohio is not what Odell Beckham Jr. is about. How do you guys not see that? I, I see it, but you, do you know how hard? Do you have any idea how hard Odell Beckham Jr. had to play football to make it to this level? And you think the only thing he cares about is the club. Not that he's a quarterback who can throw the ball competently over 40 yards. Eli has not been able to throw the ball to Odell for three years. He cannot throw a deep ball. Odell's the fastest player on the field. Basically, at any given moment he's playing, you can run Odell down the field and heave the ball. Baker Mayfield could throw the ball 55 yards. You don't think he's excited about that? He only cares think, about if there's I, I, a, a club? I didn't say that. I said that it's probably a team that he sees the, 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 the positives about. But he's going to be spending his nights from Monday through Saturday, when they plan a Sunday, in Cleveland, Ohio. If you guys can't grasp that, I can't make you grasp it. If, if they have, I can't. they have a cheesecake factory, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Okay. I, I, I mean, right. I just, I'm not saying he won't be bored. He might be bored. Guess what? Listen, Maybe that'll be is, great for it him. It is a negative aspect to where you're playing, no question. But a chance to win, a chance to play on national television. I mean, take a look at every NFL show. All anybody's talking about are the Cleveland Browns because they haven't won in such a long time. If this team is going to be competing for Super Bowls, all right, there's a negative that he's not going to be able to go to the bright lights of the big city on Tuesdays on his off day. But you know what? He's got an excellent chance to win and be part of something that would be pretty special. I think that would outshine. Get to play with his favorite, with his best friend. Get a chance to play with a quarterback that's got a really bright future. A fan base that's going to think that he's a, he's a, a walking and living legend and a well, guy. He, he already, he already All of played, these things are going to outshine played. the fact that he's going to have to hang out at a cheesecake factory on a Tuesday. I don't I think they have cheesecake a cheesecake factory. factory in downtown Cleveland. But I, I will do. tell you this. He was in a pretty good situation with the Giants, too. A fan base that adored him. Uh, is that true? Yeah. yeah. Did the fan base adore him? They called up and ripped him every week. Oh, you know what? Every fan base he called did, up he got and ripped Joe too. Girardi every week now, and they want him back. That, that, that may be so, and that's what makes fans here annoying. But you can't tell me everyone loved Odell. We get calls from hate. Go walk through MetLife Stadium two years ago. Everybody was wearing a 13 jersey, yeah, especially you, the young kids. Yeah, but you could also hear the, the, the media getting on him, and you don't think that there's... We're getting fans now in tweets that are complete, like, support of the trade, supporting Dave Gettleman, even though he's, been, he's acted wacky over the last couple of weeks. There, you can't deny the fact that there was a, certainly an older crowd that just did not buy into Odell. But in Cleveland, I think they're just going to love everything that he does because, you know what, they haven't had a lot of great players over the last 30 years in Cleveland. So when he urinates in the end zone, he's probably going to get support from his fan base, not get ripped by his fan base. And I'm not saying that that's right. I'm just saying that it's going to be he's going to get a lot more of a softer landing to the media and the fans. If he drops passes, he might get cheered off the field for the effort. That doesn't happen in New York. 25 minutes to Cheesecake Factory. It's in Westlake. Right, but it's not in Cleveland. Not in downtown Cleveland.